Congress, etc. See, because some NGOs also, they, 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 they said repeal, repeal the act of gambling regulation. I've seen it today also in the newspaper. But let me tell you, when we talk about, when we talk about gambling, all types of gambling, be it deal, be it that, uh, what they call it, bullfight, be it fishing, that also is gambling. But what we see all, all those years, what happened was, we don't have regulation. When you don't have regulation, we need to regulate. We can't stop because sometimes it's a livelihood. And then we do have that jackpot activities in, in, in Shillong, at Hing Nui well. That time, there was no regulation. So we need to regulate it. That's why, including casino. <laughs> right now, I think the stakeholders, the public, their concern is about casino. They don't talk about regulation of gambling, but they are concerned about the casino. So therefore, that day, CM, when he replied inside the house, he said, we stop it until and unless stop means we stop issuing license. And then number two, we will have to carry along everybody with the stakeholders. Then if the stakeholder says, still says no, means no. Because see, if you talk in terms of, you know, in terms of uh, generation of revenue, yes, it is true. If we set up cash flow, it will be there. But at the same time, we need to respect the sentiments of our people in the state of Africa. That's why CM has made it very, very categorically on the floor of the house that casino, we put it across that. What does fight this uh, 